Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Portal 2. Because let's face it, we need something quick to play between Tears of the Kingdom and Starfield coming out this week. And this game is a classic. We're starting off Chapter 2 today, The Cold Boot. Alright, let's get right to it. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first single test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh good, that sounds promising. Now, if you haven't played this before, it's a Valve game. They're the makers of Half-Life 1 and 2. They made Portal 1 and 2. They made Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. And most recently, they're responsible for Steam, which is kind of why I think they've stopped making games. They're making enough money without making games. They're selling games without making games. So they really have no no more incentive to make any more games, which is kind of sad because it would have been nice to see an end to all three of those trilogies. You know, a Half-Life 3, a Portal 3, and a Left 4 Dead 3 would have been awesome, but I don't think we're ever going to get it at this point. So instead, we're left solving these Portal-based puzzles from Portal 2 today. And I'm trying to figure out where we got to redirect this laser to. going to be the longest speed run ever. Actually, I haven't played this game in such a long time that I don't remember any of the puzzles, so I'm pretty much doing this blind. I mean, I've played the Portal before, but it's been a very, very long time, so this is all seemingly new to me. That wasn't as much momentum as I was hoping for. Okay, where did that get us? Not bad. Perfect. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I think I think the game is the most sarcastic narrator's back This next back. test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Okay, I guess we're going to try and catch that. Oh, I missed. Okay, we got the idea, we'll get it. Third time is the charm. Got it. Yeah, playing Stanley Parable and then playing this. Here's an nothing interesting but sarcasm. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself.
All right, that was pretty cool. Now, how do we solve the room? Where are we gonna find a cube in here? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Okay, this time it dropped the cube. Alright, that went off the edge, but maybe if we move it just a little bit more to the left, it'll hit the wall instead of going off the edge. Let's see if I can catch it. Now where to put this cube? That's our next part of this puzzle. Ah, that's where we're headed to. If I can drop it right on the button. Well, that was Remember nice. I before thought I when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. That was helpful. Huh. 
how do we reflect it over to that end point? Oh, I didn't realize I could shoot right through that screen. That was much easier than I was making it out to be. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. She's livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep testing, just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Alright, so it seems like we're going to be breaking out of here. But we got to solve more tests in the meantime. other side of the room to angle this properly. Guess I should have brought the cube with me the first time.
right again that wasn't so bad i think i'm just over complicating these puzzles for myself you just think well done in fact you did so well i'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section oh there's lots of room here did well enough to, to maintain a constant simpler. testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. I was a little worried it wasn't safe to be walking through here for a minute. Okay, so I gotta redirect lasers and I need to get three things lit up it looks like I guess we're gonna fumble our way through yet another puzzle okay so this can only light up one at a time How do I get the other two lit up? Well, I guess that's still on an angle. Huh. So that would light up but that's not going to work. Okay, do we need to move the portal or do we need to move the cube? a sharper angle and I can maybe hit two but I guess I can hit two just using the cube and then portal for the third you know how I'm going to live forever but you're going to be dead in 60 years well I've been working on a belated birthday present for you well more of a belated birthday medical procedure well Technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Okay, so we know we need to direct a laser there. We have a cube, a bridge, and a laser. Okay, that raises a platform. Let's see, where can we get to with this bridge? It seems like there's an opening up there. I thought I was a little too high up. Can 
we've duck. I haven't really been using that, but yeah, we can duck. I thought there was a duck button. Okay, this should help. We can use it to pull off the laser. Just wanted to see what was in this room. Okay, how do we get this jug of water back to pull off the laser? Get on the platform. I think we can drop the jug to raise the platform. Ah, yes, that I was perfect. You think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. What's our surprise? Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Well, that's going to do it for today. Come see more Portal next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.